Hello everybody, your place back here with some more go 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 Nippon, my first trip to Japan. We might have tweeted something you should chat essential in the description which is a lot of the people like. That's not going really fast. So, uh, we're trying to find somewhere to eat. A lot of them are cheap train restaurants, so you can really get by Japan on the cheap if you go to them often. And the storefronts all have realistic rack models of the food to provide elaborate samples. I heard you. Japanese people are obsessed with food, but I guess that's true. So, is there anything you have a taste for? Anything I have a taste for? Hmm. Anything cheap? I want to eat noodles. I don't know. Noodles. Noodles. I know. Let's go to that store. What store? Where exactly are we going? That's... Sober? Oh, I've heard of this. That's right, eat up. I'm looking at a very simple dish. Piled high with some kind of pasta. How are we supposed to eat this? You see the small bowl filled with broth? Yeah, it's almost like a little cup. Dip the noodles into it and eat them. The key is to slurp them loudly. I know it's considered rude in other countries, but noisily slurping is the Icky way to eat sober. Icky? Stylish is the word, more or less. Maybe not. Maybe cool is the right word for it. It's cool to slurp your pasta. Japan is a total enigma. Yeah, what's in this little dish? It's called Yakumi. It's like a seasoning. You can add as much in as you want. Wow. As long as it's here, I'll put it all in. Ah, here goes. Masu. Now slip it nice and loud, yeah. Um ah! Ah! <laughs> I knew it. But what is this stuff? I feel like it just blew my sciences out. It's wasabi! Wasabi! Is that racist? <laughs> wasabi. Yes, it was it was in the Yakumi. Uh you just added green paste stuff. It's called wasabi and it's even stronger than horseradish. If you put too much in it will really blow your sinuses out. I... I see. Ah. Huh? Hee <laughs> hee. Some... Otosuyu. I've heard of that before, I think. A proper name for sober dipping broth made from fish stop soy sauce and urin. Some Otosuyu splash your face. I'll wipe it off. Just look up for here. Ah. There you go. I just saw some more Otsu for you. Ah, sure, thanks. The Kota is so nice. The price of Soba seems to vary a lot depending on the store. I think I saw it for 350 yen in some fast food places around the station, but eating it in a proper restaurant is more like 700. I'm sure the difference is reflected in the flavour. Ooh, that was a good meal. Okay then, next up. Huh? Wait, Makoto? Huh? What is it? What is that? What is what? That! That thing! It's over there! That giant tower! Oh, that! That's called the Tokyo Sky Tree. Tokyo Sky Tree? Yes, it's a broadcast tower that provides digital signal for all of Tokyo. That's a broadcast tower? Yes, until recently Tokyo Tower played that role, but now there are so many tall buildings in Tokyo that they interfere with the broadcast waves. The Sky Tree is supposed to remedy that, but it's still under construction. Huh, wait a minute, that thing's not even finished yet? That's right, when it's finished, it will be 634 metres tall. The tallest broadcast tower in the world. As my mistresses go, it will only rank second after the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Second tallest building in the world. And it's right next to my Sakuza. It is strange, isn't it? To have such a modern structure visible but miss these traditional buildings. No kidding. Maybe that's what makes Japan special. The other broadcast tower, Tokyo Tower, is a popular sightseeing spot in the city. You should go there too if we have time. Something's making noise outside. 
no idea what it was. Sorry about that if you heard clanging noises. Something outside. Hmm, maybe so. Another 170. Okay. Well, that makes a full day of sightseeing. Makoto Miss. Makoto Misaki's Tokyo Tour will now be coming to an end. This is our last sightseeing spot. Yes. Now here's the question: What kind of place do you, th what kind of place do you think this is? I really need to check money. Today's expenses, total expenses. Also, I'm not going to run out of money, but it's telling me how much money I've spent. Right. Okay. So there's a possibility of running out of money. Okay. And don't look at that and think that's accurate either. I just put one to one. I tried to do it legit with dollars, but it wouldn't let me. So, <laughs> if you're using this as a guide, don't for the money. Everything else is correct though, probably. Right, what kind of place is this? What could it be? It just seems like your average, average everyday building. Let's see, just from the shape and sh... <coughs> Shape and size, it looks like a gymnasium. Ooh, so close. It's called the uh, Ryogoku Koku Gikan. Ryogoku Koku Gikan. I, I can't say that any faster. It's the promised land of Oh Sumo. Sumo? You mean like sumo wrestling? Yes, I think that's right. Sumo has a long history. Some people say it goes back at least 2,000 years. 2,000 years? Yes, long ago, it was a ritual to one of the gods. Wow. Have you seen it? They clapped their hands in the ring and stomped their feet. It's all a ritual carried over from ancient times. Yeah, I've seen that on TV. Let's see, I did always wonder why they moved in such a strange way. It's nice to know the reason why. Sumo wrestlers are known as Rikishi. Rikishi? Sumo competitions between professional Rikishi is called Ozumo. Six Uzumo Ozumo Uzumo competitions take place every year. Three of them are held here at the Ryogoku Koku Gikan place. Three? You mean half of them? That's right. The Uzumo at the Goku Gikan take place in January, May, and September, and they last for two weeks. If you want to come, it's best to buy tickets in advance on the internet or at a travel agency. Too bad, it's, uh, too bad it's not going on while I'm here. If I come back again, I'll make sure to check it out. Oh, and my nice that the Go Koku, Koku Gikan is the Edo Tokyo Museum. It teaches people about the history of Tokyo. You want to go in and learn a bit about how Tokyo evolved since the era of the samurai? Sure, as we're here, let's do it. Wow, the Edo Tokyo Museum was really fun. Seeing Tokyo nowadays, it's hard to imagine it looked like that 200 years ago. I really learned a lot. So did I, to tell the truth. That's the first time I've been to that museum myself. What? Really? Hee <laughs> hee. It's true, unfortunately. This was a good, good opportunity to go. There's a lot of things we only had general knowledge of, so it was educational for me too. I see. Yes, being with you today reminds me of how much we have to learn about our own country. Thank you, Samuel. Haha. <laughs> I didn't do anything, but thank you for saying so. Hmm? Hey Makoto, look at that! Who's that walking towards us? Oh my! It's an Osumo san Sumo wrestler. That's amazing! I've never seen a one up close before. He's not just a big guy, he's got this amazing presence. That's it! He's got a he's got presence. Da -da 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 -da. He's gone. There are a lot of sumo stab stables around here, so I guess it's really not uncommon to see a sumo san walking around. Yeah, they're really impressive. Hee <laughs> hee, that was a nice unexpected treat, but I think we'd better bring today's sightseeing to an end and head back home. Sure. With no more sightseeing to do, we headed home. It was a day of unforge unforgettable experiences, and I thought I would be able to head home in peace, but... Ugh, <sighs> this is unbearable. What the hell is this? Why are there so many people in this train car? Please try to bear it a little while longer. 
right. I wish I could, but I'm seriously going to get squished here. That was him being squished. Heading home, heading home. Ugh, ugh. I thought I was a gunner there for a while, for a minute. Whew. Hey, Makoto, are we in? Tokyo's famous evening rush, yes. Evening rush. So you're saying Japanese people do this every day when coming home from work? When work and school end, everyone goes home at about the same time. A lot of people have to ride the train, so what can you do? What can we do? Can't believe people are just okay with us. That's right, to prevent certain strange crimes that happen during rush hour, there's a system in place to allow for women only cars. If a man gets on them by mistake, he'll get lots of glares. I see. I guess anyone who would do that deserves whatever they get. I'd better not do it. Anyway, in the future, I'll try to make sure we don't mind the trains during rush hour. And we're home. La la la. Wow. La 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 la. Oh my! You seem so raptured with uh, with Akira. Huh? No way. That's not true. It's just it's the first time I've watched her cook. She seems so at ease with it. Oh, she's cooking. Oh, I see. Akira makes dinner like that every day. Every day? Yes. Her parents are always busy with work, and they get home late. Once we were old enough, Akira started cooking every day. Hmm, I see. Yesterday, I was surprised to hear Akira was such a good cook. But now that I see her in action, it seems completely natural. Maybe Akira is more feminine than I thought. Huh, but why just Akira? As the older sister, wouldn't it be your responsibility to do the cooking? Um, well... As you suggest, I did attempt it at first, but... But Akira said she didn't want to leave it all to me. That's go away, Michael. C come on, it's not like it matters. Now let's see what's on TV. What? Huh? That's strange. I thought we had some left. <coughs> Pardon me. What's wrong, Akira? The ingredients for dinner. I didn't buy any since I, fig I figured we had enough in the fridge. But it looks like I was wrong. Ah, uh, what should I do? I can finish without it, but it'll lack for taste a little. Do you want me to pick some up? Hmm, I think so. Do you mind? Not at all. Wait, you're going shopping now? Well, yes. By yourself? Um, yes. Why? Are you crazy? That's dangerous. What? Come on, it's dark out there. It's dangerous for a girl to walk around alone at this time of night. Don't be silly. It's not dangerous at all. Yes, it is. I'll go instead. Do you even know where to go or what to buy? Well, Akira could tell me. Do you know Oage? I'll need some Kamaboko. Thinly sliced deep fried tofu, often using soups or as a wrapper for sushi rice. A firm cake made from fish, usually sliced in place in soups. Okay. Oage Kamaboko. Da 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 da. That's where I was going to go. Then I'll go with you. That will solve the problem, right? I suppose so. Well, let's do that then. I have no reason to refuse. That's that then. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. You're very reliable. And if anything goes wrong, I'll protect you. I'll beat your shield. So? Huh? Do you see anyone who might want to cause me harm? Not at the moment. Not just that, this place is inc incredibly peaceful at night. I told you, didn't I? I said it would be fine. But, but... Obviously, crimes do occur in Japan, and it is more dangerous at night than in the day. But it's still not really late enough to worry. Even then, as long as you're a little careful, you probably won't get into much trouble. I... I see. It is... Even this late at night, there are young girls in short skirts walking all over. Is this country really that safe? I kind of regret acting like I could be her cool bodyguard now. But, huh? No matter how safe you think it is, things are never 100%, you know? I was such a wonderful bodyguard today, it makes me feel particularly safe. Perfectly safe. Thank you. Makoto. <laughs> I love you. Let's see, Owage and Kamaboko, and that's it. 
Don't think I forgot anything. Okay, let's head back. Ah, let me carry the bags. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. Can't refuse such a sweet offer. It's nothing. That reminds me, you're good at English, you know, Makoto. Really? Thank you. Can you say that makes it all my studying feel worthwhile? Can I ask something? Why are you studying English? Hmm, well, there's no particular reason for it. I just thought it would be nice to nice skill to have for when I look for a job. I would open lots of opportunities in the future. That's about it. I see. You're disappointed? You're expecting a more noble reason? Not at all. Whatever your reason doesn't change the fact that you're good at it. Besides, it's because of that that we were able to get to know each other. Hee <laughs> hee, that's true. Okay, re Traditional Japanese phrase used to greet the person returning home. To Daima, here I bought this for you. Traditional Japanese phrase is now one's returning home. Thank you! I'll get things ready so you wait here. That reminds me, Kira is bad at English. One's good at cooking and bad at English, the other's bad at cooking and good at English. It's pretty mysterious if sisters so opposite like that. <sighs> All that walking around today was has me exhausted. I guess it's true that spring in Japan is really cold. It's pretty cold. Really cold, either one. Good thing I brought some cold weather clothes. But I hear it's hot and muggy in summer with a lot of sun. If I come here in summer, I'll have to prepare for that. So you can even buy suntan lotion in a, in a combini. So there's plenty I can buy after I get here. Those are open 24 hours and they have a huge selection. Combini really are convenient. Right, so then we're going to go into day two. And he's awake. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching. Reminder Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube chat, send links in the description after that. I'd really like. So, that was the first good day. Travelling around, seeing some sumos and like samurai stuff from that era. From the Edo period. That was quite cool. But yeah, yeah, let's end this over here. So I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.